Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the uh, Geronimo Performance Pad for the iPhone 4 and iPhone 5. Um, this Performance Pad is for the R44 Raven 2 and Raven 1. So uh, by clicking here in this field, you can switch between those two, Raven 4, uh, Raven 2 and Astro Raven. So now, uh, similar as uh, on the iPad versions, you can use the sliders to input values. Let's say you want to give seat one over here 200 uh, or 220 pounds. This includes pilot and baggage. If you don't want to count in um, pounds and you prefer uh, kilos, just go to the helicopter page and click on change units down here. Okay, so now let's stay here for a while and um, by uh, insert or by using the sliders, you can uh, actually enter the seat values and weights. And here by clicking on this symbol, you can enter the fuel, amount of fuel uh, and a flight time. So uh, as soon as you um, enter an amount of fuel, you will see that the takeoff weight rises the zero fuel weight of course stays the same. As soon as you enter a flight time, the landing weight here represented by the yellow circle uh, changes and will be displayed. So now uh, you would fly with about 40 gallons and uh, for about 100 minutes. And this is um, your weight and balance calculation over here. To go back, just click on the back button. <coughs> and if you want to see this in more detail, just click on the area here. And this is how the whole web uh, app works. So by clicking on the fields, you can get more information. For instance, here you get the larger limits and here um, you get more um, values to, uh, on the display. Um, so now here you can scroll through uh, the load manifest and if you wish, you can send this to your own email address by clicking on that button here. So now here you will generate an email that you can send to your address. I will cancel this for now. Okay, this is this. Now um, let's go to the second page, um, to the performance page, which is here. So um, here now your um, values are forwarded from this page. So your takeoff, or your landing weight, for instance, is 2,188 pounds. If you check and click uh, on this field here, you will see that this value is forwarded and it calculates the OGE and IGE values for you automatically. So there's nothing you have to do that is um, a very fast um, way of calculating OGE, IGE. Of course, you have to set uh, your environment, OAT and altimeter. Let's say I change the OAT, of course the values will be changed then for uh, OGE and IGE. So by clicking here, you get all those information um, of course, I can use <coughs> a, a different way of calculation, that is um, those crosses here. By changing the elevation in feet, for instance, I can now read my OGE and IGE maximum gross weights. In this case here, for an elevation of 8,700 feet MSL, my uh, OGE max gross weight is 2,076 pounds. That means I cannot be heavier than 2,076 pounds in order to hover at 8,700 feet. Now if I change the altimeter, um, the pressure altitude change because pressure altitude has something to do with altimeter um, and it will be displayed automatically. So you see as soon as I change the altimeter, the pressure altitude is changed and therefore the max gross weights for um, the uh, corresponding altitudes. So this is this page. If you click here on density altitude, you will get your um, uh, calculation for max continuous power and VNE. So in this case, if I reduce the temperature a little bit um, in that altitude, let's go a little lower here to have some realistic values. Um, let's say you have an uh, OAT of five degrees, then your max continuous power is 21.9 inches. And if you click on this instrument, you will get a um, chart of all the values. This chart is the same as you use it um, in the POH, in the Pilot Operating Handbook of the R44s. Same here, if you click on VNE, you will click, um, uh, you will get this chart, which is the chart from the POH uh, again, and uh, displaying the never exceed speeds. 
So if you want to get rid of this, just click here in this field again. So now <clears throat> you could compare the values for Raven 2 and Raven 1 just by clicking on this field again. So here we go. This is Raven um, and this is Raven 2. So you see with a Raven, um, let's go to a higher elevation for instance here, 8800. Your OGE under those circumstances here, 5 degrees and this altimeter settings, would be 2197. Um, with your astro, which is a little, uh, it's not so strong, it would be lower. It would be only 1,932 pounds. So here you can compare those two helicopters. Um, now we have seen that you can set a flight time here in the fuel settings on the weight and balance page. But sometimes you don't know your flight time because you have to calculate it first. So there's an easy way of doing this. Just go to the flight time page here and um, use your finger uh, to swipe over the surface to set the values. Whatever value is red will be changed. So let's say you want to change the wind direction. Click ta or tap in this field and now you can change the wind direction. And um, let's say you want to go for a true course of 270 degrees, something like this. So you want to go west and your wind today um, is coming from the west too, northwest for instance. Your wind velocity is quite strong, let's say. Uh, and the distance you have to go is, let's say, 50, nau uh, 50 nautical miles, something like that. So your flight time will be 53 minutes. If you would have a wind change, like so, then your flight time would reduce to 22 minutes. So this is uh, a very easy way to calculate your flight time real quickly. This is basically an E6B uh, graphical version. If you want to set variation and deviation, click here on the set button. And here you have all the hidden values like variation, deviation, your compass deviation, your OAT altimeter uh, setting is important to get a true airspeed, which you can see here. So you uh, on, on the other side here, you can, you can uh, go back and forth uh, via this area if you click in here. If you set a speed here, 100 knots indicated airspeed, this is of course not the true airspeed. The true airspeed will be calculated based on OAT and altimeter setting. And um, this is what you can find here. All right, so in the last page is the helicopter page. Here you can um, enter your email address and send the manifest to your address. You can check a video tutorials, uh, you check um, uh, you can change units. You can also go to load and save and save this current setup just by clicking on the save button. We can give it a diff different name, let's say test, um, and save it as test. Now when you come back and you want to uh, load exactly this scenario, just click the load button, that's it, and you can save up to 10 helicopters here. And here you have some limits, uh, the uh, R44 Raven uh, and Raven 2 airspeed limits. So this is a quick uh, overview and I uh, will try to do some uh, more demonstrations in the next time. Enjoy and if you uh, yeah have some comments just let me know. Uh, I, I, you can reach me via uh, my uh, website. Uh, just drop an email at uh, klaus.richter at gyronimosystems.com. Thank you very much. Bye bye.